It is finally time for this year's Halloween home tour video, and I just absolutely cannot wait to show you around the house and show you all of the fun new Halloween items I've purchased this year, and also where I've kind of placed those around the house. In addition to that, though, I'll show you some of the fun craft projects I've done this year and also some from previous years. So let's get started on the tour. Starting outside, this is our 124-year-old Victorian home. I placed these large light-up pumpkins in the front planters and lined the walkway with these cool vintage-style yard stakes from Walmart. The front porch is decorated with the fall planters I made in another video, along with some light-up and regular pumpkins, gourds, and neat metal black cats nestled on top of small straw bales. Rustic metal bats hang on the front door, and next to that, a grapevine wreath I put Dollar Tree fall stems in. Below is a new metal bench I got on clearance at Lowe's, decorated with a light-up pumpkin and a fall-colored pillow. Under the large window is this antique chocolate crate filled with more pumpkins and gourds. Many items on the porch light up, which I will show you later in the video. So yeah, that is the front porch. A fall wreath decorates the garage door, and more pumpkins from our grandma's pumpkin patch decorate the patio area. On the back porch, I have these fun Halloween planters I made in another video, along with this cute rug. And now, it's time to head inside. This is the entryway. Next to the door is this vintage desk, decorated with some fun Halloween items, including some pumpkins, a scented candle, these spooky drawings I made in the unreleased Halloween collection video, and these interesting printing blocks I found at an antique shop. Above is a vintage-style Halloween colored pencil drawing that I did in another video, featuring pumpkin people dancing around a taper candle. I spiderwebbed so many things in the house this year, I forgot how much fun it is. I will admit, the stairs were inspired by a Goosebumps book cover. So as a little nod to the 90s, I decided to get out my scissors and neon green construction paper and adhere the pieces to the stairs with painter's tape. I have a black light to make it glow later in the nighttime portion of the video. On the landing is a fall tree I made in another video, decorated with mini pumpkin lights. And in the window, a spooky owl. I spray painted some clearance floral garlands black and added pumpkin lights to it for the railing. And added some vintage Halloween paper cutouts as well. Here is how I decorated across from the stairs. On the hooks is a vintage-style Halloween lantern I made, this cute cat sign I got at Target a few years ago, and below, a great little ghost pillow. And here is how I decorated the entry table this year. I decorated this glitter Halloween tree with these cute pumpkin ornaments I made in a video, and spiderwebbed the mirror above. Resting on the table are my moon and pumpkin vintage style lanterns. If you're curious about how these were made, you can check out that DIY video on my channel. I got this fun Joanna Parker bowl at Home Goods, and across the table, little spiders scurry up and over this vintage red broom. And through here is the fireplace room. I thought this neat ghost added the perfect amount of height to this table. I decorated this other tree with some Halloween egg ornaments I got from my mother-in-law about 12 years ago, and set out this neat witch candle holder and my new cat candy jar. On the chair is my Beatrix Percival Halloween edition book, which is a story about a young woman who finds out she is a witch. It is one of three hardcover books I'm excited to have on my website this year. 
Black, lace-like Halloween curtains decorate the side windows, and below, light-up jack-o'-lanterns add a classic Halloween glow to the room. I spiderwebbed the grandfather clock, too. I absolutely love this clock, as I remember being excited to hear it chime as a kid, and was so grateful when my grandma gifted it to me. Above my desk is a light-up haunted house we got from Tim's Graham years ago. Swirling bats, adhered with painter's tape, decorate the ceiling above. And here is the fireplace, decorated with a variety of different spooky items. I have this cute black cat resting on the ottoman, along with some Halloween magazines and books. On the mantel are some vintage-style decorations, some store-bought and some handmade. This pumpkin was a fun craft project, as well as this owl, which are two separate videos you can find on my channel. And up here are some Halloween paper cutouts. I placed this pumpkin and black cat lantern I made next to a fun haunted house I found at Goodwill. And here is an antique pumpkin lantern a family member gave me. I actually purchased this cat at Michael's last year on clearance. I really had a blast adding spiderweb to things around the house. Over here, some flickering skeleton lights from the 90s decorate the doorway. And through here is the living room. The table behind the couch is decorated with some vintage Halloween postcards featuring eerie scenes, and below, a crow rests on top of a light-up pumpkin. I also set out this small bucket and this neat cookie jar that actually lights up. Tim spotted these owl taper candles at a small shop. And over here is the vintage tea cart. This pumpkin decoration was also a Michael's clearance find. And over here is a small velvet pumpkin I made in a video, these beaded coasters my grandma got me, and a decorative Halloween book. Down below, I have a vintage Halloween music book. Under a spiderweb-covered mirror is this vintage rocking chair I got from a friend, decorated with a fun Halloween pillow. I kept the same fall blanket and pillow on the couch, and set out this felt tic-tac-toe board along with some Halloween decorating books. Across the room is a fiber-optic ghost, which I will have all lit up later in the video. Another velvet pumpkin decorates this sewing machine, and next to that is this fun vintage light-up witch I purchased because it reminded me of one my grandma had when I was little. And through here is the dining room. I decided to go with a witch theme in here with LED taper candles, silver accents, a witch globe, potion bottles, and other little creepy crawlies resting on Spanish moss. The green lights were actually from Dollar Tree, as were these skull paper plates and these neat marble plates. This was really a fun table to put together. And I actually purchased this large cauldron at Goodwill and placed a lighted fog maker inside that I found on Amazon. And up here, Mr. Toad keeps an eye on the brew. Across the room is the buffet, decorated with this fun silver witch hat chip and dip I purchased at Home Goods, these moving books I found at Fleet Farm, and more potion bottles, some crystals, and witchy jewelry. I had a lot of fun with this, just adding things I thought seemed fitting for a witch's station. In the window is a fun owl decoration I found at Michael's. I just loved this tiny little owl. And Mr. Skeleton stands next to the record player, playing a fitting vintage Halloween record. Across the room, the built-in got transformed into a witch's cabinet this year. I made these spooky plants and spellbooks in two videos you can find on my channel. 
Above is a light-up Halloween radio and more potion bottles and eerie embellishments I thought were fitting for a witch's cabinet, including this neat old spoon, more crystals, and this spooky clock, which is another video on my channel. Tim's Graham actually gave us this palmistry book. And here's another spell book I made. Over here is a small table and chairs my cousins, brother, and I used to sit at when we were little, decorated with this old jack-o'-lantern I painted. And this is another one of my books, Helga the Witch, a children's Halloween story poem. You can listen to the full story in my fall home tour video if you like. Even more spiderweb decorates the china cabinet. And over here is this neat vintage frame filled with antique Halloween postcard images. The next room is the kitchen. I placed more Halloween cutouts on the fridge and decorated the island with some fun Joanna Parker Halloween pieces. Underneath a spooky tree lit with Dollar Tree lights is this jack-o'-lantern tea set, which I just thought was so fun with all the little faces. These trees were from Dollar Tree, and on the tiered tray is more Joanna Parker pieces, including a sugar and creamer set, along with some salt and pepper shakers, and some vintage orange enamelware. And here is the pumpkin cookie jar I was hunting for. Those of you that follow my channel know I looked everywhere for this thing and I'm so happy I finally got one. I just love the vintage style charm it has and I'm so excited for it to become an annual piece to set out. Continuing with even more Joanna Parker finds is the coffee area. I placed pumpkin spice coffee pods in this super cute owl and set out some Halloween napkins by my spooky ghost mug. And here is more of my vintage orange enamelware. I thought these skeleton cups were fun, and here's a pumpkin I got at Walmart a few years ago. Up top are some spooky mugs, stir sticks, more shakers, and enamelware. Under this black cat cutout is a fun Halloween bubble nightlight. On the basement door next to the coffee area is a simple wreath I dressed up with Dollar Tree bat clips. And over here, a bat kitchen towel above an electric stove decorated with a cute mousekins book. There are a few more fall mugs on the fridge, and a few more up on the shelves. I found this neat Halloween rug for in front of the kitchen sink and decorated the cabinets above with some mice cutouts adhered with painter's tape. In the window is this decoration my mother-in-law gave us, along with a little bird dressed like a ghost. In the small bathroom off the kitchen are a few more Halloween items, along with these fun vintage owl tins. Off the kitchen is the tiny staircase. I decorated the hooks with some rustic brooms, along with a piece of fabric I made into a witch's cloak, decorated with a vintage brooch. To add a little glow is this small jack-o'-lantern gourd, and going up the stairs are these spooky little mice cutouts. At the top of the stairs is the little guest room. The bed is decorated with this simple addition of this cute little owl. I found this about seven years ago at Home Goods and love setting it out every year. And in my fish's home, I placed this cute pumpkin stack decoration I found at PetSmart. The little flutters. I was so excited to get something to decorate his tank with. I have a small pumpkin in the window and these ghost lights above. I have yet to hang up this vintage mirror I found. On the fireplace is this clock pumpkin I made and a spooky tricks book. Across the room, I decorated the shelf with these neat decorative witch books and this pumpkin sign I purchased when I worked at Hallmark back in the day. 
And over here is a dried floral wreath I made, which is another video on my channel. And decorating the nightstand is a mushroom globe and another witch book. Next to the guest room is the clawfoot tub bathroom. I did find the perfect spot for this black and gold pumpkin after all. I thought it matched the tub well, and I usually have a pumpkin sitting here. Decorating the tub is an owl candle holder I got at Walmart a few years ago, and my Halloween edition Thomas book, which is a romantic ghost story that I wrote. A small cauldron filled with bath fizzies rests on the other side, and fluttering up the tile are all these fun bats I purchased on Amazon. Each one is adhered with painter's tape so it is easily removable. Under this vintage art piece is some bath salts, a fall candle, and mini pumpkins. So yeah, that is the bathroom. Going up to the third floor, I have this neat moon and witch decoration I found at an antique shop. Over here is a little bedroom nook, complete with a spooky goosebumps blanket. I was so excited to find this as it reminds me of the goosebumps book collection I had when I was younger. Above are some Halloween ghost lights, and next to the bed are some more spooky items and this fun owl clock I purchased in New Alm. And a few Goosebump books. I also set out this holographic Goosebumps ring I had from when I was a kid. Across the living space is this desk my grandpa built, decorated with a pop-up haunted house we got from Tim's Graham. I have another pop-up Halloween decoration from his gram over here, too. A witch decorates the table along with these neat skeleton placemats I found at HomeGoods. Back on the second floor is our bedroom. I placed this pumpkin pillow on the bed and decorated the fireplace area with a fall wreath and some other Halloween decorations my brother and I purchased at Target a few years ago. Sprinkled around the room are these adorable Halloween Pasheen the Cat decorations. As I've mentioned in the past, I love Pasheen the Cat comics, and so Tim started getting me seasonal Pasheens for Valentine's Day, Christmas, and as you see here, Halloween. Unfortunately, I'm allergic to cats, so I joke with Tim that these are one cat I can have. It's actually kind of funny decorating with them and seeing them all out at once, as I have slowly collected these over the past six or seven years. But yes, I love them and I'm so glad to have them out of their boxes once again, as I haven't decorated with many of them in years, and didn't realize until now that it was a tradition that I was missing. And on my jacket is this Halloween witch pin that I designed using some vintage Halloween graphics. I decided to only have 105 of these made and was extremely excited when they arrived before my grandma visited so I could give her the very first one. And this is Marshmallow Our Canary's room. This ghost is from a painting tutorial video on my channel. And on the mantle, a light up skull from Tim's Graham and a lighted candle with a spooky red bowl. Across the room is Marshmallow, as cute as can be. And we are back in the main staircase. That concludes the daytime portion of the tour, so now I'm going to relax and wait until it's dark outside so I can show you what everything looks like inside and out with the lights off.
welcome to my channel. I'm Christopher Heidemann and I love to decorate. Over the years, I've had a blast sharing a variety of craft and decorating videos. From cozy fall and spooky Halloween to warm and inviting Christmas. and other fun videos, including seasonal home tours, garden tours, simple desserts and treats, floral arrangements, and other projects to make your holidays and home even more spectacular.